And for Saunders at the Capitol, Florida's governor now vowing to toll and tax the House of Mouse. It's the latest turn in that ongoing battle between Disney and DeSantis. Take a look. It was last week we discovered Disney's special taxing district, Reedy Creek, pulled a fast one. Its old board, as a last act, ceded much of its authority over to the company, undercutting powers of the new state regulators that were set to take over. They are not superior to the people of Florida. Thursday night, DeSantis vowed to not only nullify the power grab, but to use the legislature to levy potential penalties. We're going to look at things like taxes on the hotels. We're going to look at things like tolls on the roads. We're going to look at things like developing some of the property that the district owns. The Republican then doubled down during a news event Friday, though mention of taxes and tolls was gone. There will be additional legislative action taken in Tallahassee. The fight began last year after Disney took issue with Florida's parental rights and education law. <laughs> Called Don't Say Gay by critics, it prohibits instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity in K through three classrooms. This is more fascism from Governor Ron DeSantis. You should not be weaponizing government to attack your enemies. Democrats from the Orlando area have condemned DeSantis' latest round of threats. Rep. Ana Escamani warned taxes and tolls would hurt Floridians more than Mickey Mouse. Any new tax you apply to a company will be passed down to the consumer. Bottom line. For Republicans. Uh, a lot to dive into. A review of the situation is ongoing. Senator Travis Hudson told us this week change may take a court battle, but he kept the door open for a new Disney bill. Uh, if there's anything we can do legislatively, uh, we should look at. The House Speaker also endorsed the idea on Twitter, but the Senate President last week seemed less committed to finding an answer ASAP. We've got a lot on our plate uh, for the rest of the session, so I can't, I don't anticipate uh, doing anything in the near term. Time will tell if that's true. So when will we know more? Well, we have to wait for lawmakers to return for the second half of the legislative session. The Senate coming back on Tuesday and the House shortly after that. Lawmakers do have a very, very busy agenda for the rest of their legislative session. So if a Disney bill does come up, it's going to be crammed in amongst a lot of other GOP priorities. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.